Hand in hand. <laughs> we'll be celebrating our 10th wedding anniversary, 28th of February. We've been working together for about a year and two months, about a year, two months in Farrah Park. So he's not a very romantic person and I have not been swept off my feet by any grand gestures. But I think I think he's romantic in all the little everyday things. Like for example, um, we have two daughters and one of them is in primary school and he actually uh, wakes up an hour earlier every day to walk her to school so that I get extra hours of sleep and I think that's incredibly romantic. I think it's the small things that count. Uh, so sometimes when my clinic is really busy and I have to skip lunch, uh, she sometimes offers to buy takeaway for me. Uh, so I think that's practical romantic gestures. Uh, or even at night when I'm like so bogged down sometimes with work, rush back to hospital, you know, she has to take care of the kids and uh, the big time routines. I think I think he's very very considerate to his patients. Uh, he really goes all out for them at all hours of the day, um, and he just does his best for them, even to his own inconvenience sometimes. So I think it's fantastic. He's got he's really very very considerate to his patients. Uh, I think that's very kind words coming from my uh, wife. Uh, looking at it from a, a different angle, um, my wife is a surgeon. Uh, I'm a physician, and in some ways I'll character personality suits the work we do. Both of us being in private practice together, um, we understand each other's challenges a bit better. Uh, the work environment and you know how things are done in general is very different from what we were used to previously when we were working in, in the restructured hospital. So both bring out private practice. By understanding each other better, it has helped us to strengthen the relationship as well. So if you had asked me this one or two years ago, I would be like, oh, I must plan a romantic holiday or a trip or something like that. And we have nothing planned. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like us and knowing him, how much of a workaholic he is, he's not going to want to take any time off work and we've got young kids to look after. So I think it will probably just be, you know, dinner, dinner somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, just Maybe just the two of us if, if, if somebody if, will either, babysit. Either. Are you volunteering? Yeah. Judgment and you cannot take the whole day to, to, to uh, uh, talk, talk uh, have luxury of time to talk about that. Kill it, kill it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello.